On the first day of the NCAA National Championships, the Florida State track team saw Dentarius Locke and James Harris qualify for the finals in individual events, and on the women's side, the 4x100 meter relay team made it to the finals as well here at historic Hayward Field. I mean, it's track and field, and you're going to be up and down, and these are the greatest athletes in the world in our sport, you know, of this age. I mean, there, there's no minor leagues. These are the next Olympians and pros, and, and it's a high level, and you just Every little razor amount makes a difference. Really proud of James Harris coming back um, in the open 400 and, and you know, gut check down that straightaway. Dentarius Locke looked like a veteran, under control, executed. You know, that's what you do in the prelim. You don't go sign autographs in the prelim. You don't try to drop a bomb in the prelim. But again, the highlight probably the women's four by one um, out there today. We worked really hard. At the beginning of the season, we were having a little bit of problems with the four by one, and we just kept going and kept going, and people, of course, count us out, but we made it to nationals, they count us out again, but we made it to the finals. So we just told each other, you know what, just run your leg and give the other person the stick. As simple as that. Went pretty well, you know, a few things I could work on, but like I said, pre was just to get the final, so I'm there, gotta get ready for Friday. Now, it's the final, you know, like I said, it's one to eight, you know, the wind's the same, everybody's, you know, line, line up at the same, the same mark, so, you know, top eight, I find out who the national champions. Oh man, four by one stung a little bit, but I just had to stay focused. I didn't have time to get down and, and dwell on it. I knew I had to come back and get ready for the 400. And the 400 went into it. It felt real good, and I just had to believe in myself and go out and execute. The work has been done, now I just got to cash in. Like I said, 365 days you know, for this moment. So um, I'll go back and make sure I'm ready for this moment. You know, this is what I've been training for all year. You know, indoors doesn't matter anymore. Now it goes down to this eight. You know, last time I came second, and I plan to make sure that doesn't happen. So I gotta go out there, make sure I focus on me, do what I'm supposed to do, and make sure it doesn't. Hey, last one, best one, right? So I get to finish doing something I love with people I love, as simple as that. Jess, that race is over. Now it's time, everything gotta go towards the betterment of the next race. Like, I can't dwell on nothing that happened today. I gotta get ready for Friday. Each day has its individual battles at the individual you know, trying to squeeze those points and get it done. You know. Day two kicks off at 12.30 Pacific time with the heptathlon and Greta Sudeiko competing in those events. And of course, plenty more of preliminary action and three chances for the Seminoles to get on the scoreboard in the women's discus, the women's 10,000 meter, and the men's long jump. That'll wrap up things for now from historic Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.